Hi everyone, you are listening to a tube amplifier from 1963. This is a tube amplifier called Tutes Stereo 8. It's a tube amplifier, it has uh, four tubes inside, three tubes, they have three, three 35C, C5, which are audio frequency output stage, and it has a 112AX70. A X A X seven, which is a dual triode, very popular uh, tube for class A amplification. Basically, that's used when you use the phono input. So it that one tube used as a preamp for the for the phono, and it has only you see phono and the tuner, uh, of course. But I am playing CD on it and uh, selection on the tuner, not on the phono because phono is more sensitive, the preamp will engage. And uh, you have a stereo and mono, and this is the tone control, and at the end, on and off. This is not very high-end amplifier. I mean, they were produced a lot in 1960s and uh, by the uh, Lafayette Radio and TV Corporation New York in the United States they were producing that basically it's a uh, it's made by Japanese uh, for them inside it's a uh, national uh, uh, tubes Mitsushita company all the tubes I checked they are from the Mitsushita company which are basically national or Panasonic uh, well uh, uh, sound quality is not not that excellent which, which the tubes are famous for uh, perhaps uh, the electrolytic capacitors inside are already dried out that's why the, the filtration is uh, not uh, adequate and uh, sound is not very crisp which supposed to be it has uh, less noise frequencies are clear but uh, sound is not as richer as the tube amplifiers are famous for, you know. Even the tubes are very good still. But I think uh, electrolytic capacitors are dried out and that's why uh, the warmth in the sound and the fullness is missing. I will also open it up to show you inside. Circuitry is very simple. They uh, basically use uh, two separate amplifiers one is driven by uh, one uh, 
a tube and other is driven by other tube and in between uh, one is a, a driver one which drives basically and feeding them to both and uh, uh, one one tube is only for the preamp uh, use for the phono so and it has a push pull connection uh, with the audio transformer it's a very simple circuitry they were using with the uh, vacuum tubes amplifier at that time i i i i believe if the elect electrolytic capacitors are replaced with the new ones then the sound quality will increase but again is it is it worth to invest time and money on that that's another question because at the end of the day uh, this uh, amplifier is tube based but not very high end you know so yeah uh, they are available on ebay for 150 to 200 dollars so yeah it depends if somebody wanted to do the project perhaps this can be a nice project but personally I don't want it to invest my time on it because it's time consuming and the electrolytic capacitors uh, rated high voltage uh, able to find them is easy they are available on the eBay and perhaps in Aliexpress but it's a very time consuming job easy but time consuming job so let's listen a little bit sound and with the tube also when you when you turn it on you know they have to they have to uh, they have a filament uh, which uh, burns and they it has to reach on certain uh, temperature with the triodes inside they do the amplification so uh, generally they produce after four or five minutes when they are fully warmed and they produce a good sound quality that, that applies to all tubes. Those 35C5 uh, tubes which are used three inside, they were used in the audio stage of uh, uh, radio receivers of that era as well because they, they produce couple of watt which is enough to drive a, a mid-level speaker with uh, frequencies uh, covering from lower mid and high so yeah well I'll open it up now uh, give me a second then I show you the circuitry and how it look like inside Yeah, opening uh, this uh, amplifier is very easy basically you have uh, two screw each side you open it and uh, then you take out the top cover so this is the back end these are for the output for the speaker these first two are for the phono and uh, these are for the receiver uh, it can be any line level input like tape recorder or CD player so yeah and uh, usually uh, these kind of amplifiers they were ACDC uh, means uh, they don't have uh, the transformer which you see here but uh, I think uh, there is some modification has made and there is a transformer here so yeah and uh, these are the four tubes I was talking about that 35 C5 these three of them and uh, and uh, this one is uh, a 12 AX7 are also known as the ECC 83 and uh, you can see these are the ele electrolytic capacitors basically you see here this one this is a uh, this one it's, it's uh, rated to 150 volt this has to be i think uh, replaced it's the dual one uh, 
and this one has to be replaced and you have one there also electrolytic capacitor it's a 40 microfarad i hope you can see it this one 40 microfarad 150 watt volt rating and uh, we have got uh, here a couple of uh, this one only these are resistors so this is one there and uh, these uh, basically pf they don't get that bad early because they are not electrolytic but if somebody wanted to do the project i mean it's easy to replace all of them well resistors they cannot go bad uh, so often so i think uh, the sound filtration is uh, mostly caused by the dried electrolytic capacitor like this one if this is replaced this one is replaced this one is replaced with a new one the sound quality will increase more than 100 percent and uh, you see here you see two audio transformers basically so they are working like a class a and this one is a preamp for the phono in the driver stage and this each of them these two they are independently amplifying the 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 independent channel left channel or the right channel and if you select mono then they are both uh, parallelly connected to the circuitry this one is, is a is a driver it drives so these two basically doing the amplification and this is a when a phono cartridge is in uh, input because it's a very low level then line level input then it need a amplification so this serve is a preamp very simple circuitry i mean you could see the technology in 60s how simple it was and uh, yeah this is a potentiometers uh, variable resistors they're high quality they look good and these switches are also so i'm quite surprised that uh, it looks quite clean from inside and tubes are also look like they are not been used much tubes are okay if uh, those like i have mentioned electrolytic capacitors are replaced then this can be a nice little amplifier for a couple of watt should be generating a warm sound tubes are known for i hope you like it and uh, if you have any input or any more information on this true test company uh, that what i found they were produce company was uh, which, which was selling was uh, existing in uh, new york and they were producing but uh, inside uh, the audio transformers are also japanese the tubes are also japanese so maybe they are outsourcing to japan to make them and on their on their brand and they were selling like everybody does in the china they just design something ask chinese company to manufacture with them with their logo and they are selling so i think that was the case with this also so it's made by japanese outsourced by american i guess uh, maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe it's just produced in america and they use japanese parts yeah it can be also but uh, when i see all four tubes from the same company mitsushita which is the national panasonic then uh, i think and also those two audio amplifiers they are also used in many old vintage radio in the output stage uh, so those are also japanese transformers so there you have it a true test tube amplifier stereo 8 from 1963 I hope you like it.